My Harry Potter ones, well, this certainly has been a requested video for an update of my wand collection. You can see them all on my shelf here and I'm going to have to disturb all this tidiness now. Ah! As you can see, I finally reached my goal of filling up one of these shelves with all of my ones. That's why it's taken me so long to do this one video. This one is Newt Scamander's one and it's really cool. It's got the bite marks on, it's got the, I'm guessing, mother of pearl kind of shine shell <laughs> in his one. It's like with this blue bit here. The next boxless wand is this Draco Malfoy wand and this is the one of one of the noble ones that came in those mystery boxes and I was kind of gifted this by the Potter Collector and I'll show you, I'll put this next to the the Noble Collection other wand that comes in the box and you can see how they compare. So the most recent one that I did purchase is Abernethy's one and if you didn't see my last video it's got a really cool like swirly handle, almost looks like licorice or when I was thinking about it, it made me think of that. On Pottermore when you do the test you get given a wand and my wand is this the same length as Lavender Brown's wand. It's a really cute little dainty wand, yes obviously I don't have the longest one, but yeah. <laughs> and I could definitely see myself using this length of wand. Okay, next wand. So this is a cool Death Eater wand. And I just really loved the fact that it's such an intricate design and clearly to me seems like the dark mark. Moving along, as you can see helpfully it does say Percival Graves, so that's the Percival Graves' one. And Mr. Graves' wand, really elegant and chic wand. It does make me really remind us now is hashtag where is Percival Graves. So next is Elbus Dumbledore's first wand. And this is just an amazing wand. Like it must be real metal. And it's got the really cool rune on the end and runes on the side. And there's like cool, as Jude Law describes it, root wand. Next along the list is Death Eater Wand Thorn. But the reason I got it is it's just because it's such a cool shape. And it's very unusual to any of the other ones that I've seen. Next is this brown one. This is Fred Weasley's wand. Reminds me of kind of acorn-like. Poor Fred. But Fred had a really amazing wand. Next on the list is this blue box. This is, of course, Ron Weasley's wand. Sturdy, strong, as I said before, dependable one, just like Ron. Really glad I have that one. Next is this green one, and this is... Grindelwald's original wand. It's it's like basically a strip of bark with thorns on as well. So thin and very delicate. Again, I don't think there's any sort of metal core in this one, but fantastic. Yellow box next. So this is Lupin's one. You know, spoiler warning for any sort of plot points that I may divulge in this video. Surprised that such a delicate and dainty wand wasn't more tarnished or or maybe bitten or scratched or dropped or broken because he was a werewolf. Next is this blue wand. Doing my other video of what people told me, this is a pretty wet, a rare one now because this is M Moody's original wand that I don't think they do anymore. Next, uh, I, I know which one this one. This is Harry's wand. And this is the first ever one that I did buy. This is his wand. And I've had this for quite some time and it's like I said before, it's like kind of worn off the edge where I was like swishing it around, bit living my Harry Potter life and grazing the walls. <laughs> this is Narcissa Malfoy's wand. It's got like this pointy metal bit on the end and this studded black handle and then more points on this end and then like a mesh and then the rest of it's black. It's just, yeah, such a cool wand. Next is Queenie Goldstein's wand. One of the be more beautiful ones that you can actually purchase because it has this beautiful shell and it's like iridescent colour, it's got the blues in there, it's a cute little shell, plus the art deco design on the end. So next is this black wand, and it's Bellatrix the Stranger's wand. It's all curvy and scary and pointy and apparently it perforates eardrums. Apparently uh, Helen Bottom Carter did actually apparently do that to Matthew Lewis, so watch out. It's a dangerous wand indeed. Greeny grey box? This is Professor Snape with these very cool designs on, I believe there might be Celtic or Celtic, I can't remember how to say it. The dark black ribbons. This is a Voldemort's wand. Oh, basically a wicked wand in both sense, cool and evil at the same time. I love it. 
Poor and Tina Goldstein, or as we know, Tina Goldstein. And it's a very dainty one. It's quite heavy. I remember, I believe she had, um, the actual actress, Catherine Waterston, had uh, input into her one and asked for it a little bit heavier. And then I think now she's maybe regretting it being so heavy because she's having to swish it around so much. This wand, this is Luna's second wand. It's very cute, it's very short, and yeah, beautiful wand. I still don't have her first wand. Next is this beautiful green box, and this is James Potter. Now this I needed recently when I did a Marauders theme. But yeah, really cool, it's got, it's got webs on. Which I find really strange that he had webs on his one. It's quite light on the end, it's, it's more heavy in the middle. Let's go for this yellow wand. Jareko's wand. This is the wand that Harry uses to defeat Voldemort at the end. So that is why I had to get this one, because it's a very special wand. Here is the Noble Wand, and here is the Noble Collection Wand. And you can see it's a little bit shorter, a little bit fatter. <laughs> Next is this cool green one again. This is Hermione's wand. And it's got this beautiful vine detail, like swirls and on and on and on. You know, where would the trio have been without Hermione? At a Lumos Harry Potter event when they launched those massive giant ones at St. Paul's in London. They were giving out freebies and one of the freebies was Newt's wand in this box. So I was like, oh my goodness, I can finally have his wand box. Serafina Pickery's wand. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a gemstone. This Art Deco kind of lace pattern to go on top of it. I'm sure this would be metal in the real prop. But it's still a beautiful wand. It's just more resiny than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be more like glass. Okay, the next is this black wand box. And this is Horace Slughorn's one. Because of the level of detail, it does look like a little slug. It's got this cool, like almost like a slug trail, <laughs> like silver designs on. It's Nicholas Vermeil's wand. It's got a cool gold antique kind of join where the handle would be. I believe this is supposed to be bone. Again, very delicate, so do be careful with this one. And this brown box is Nymphadora Tonks' wand. It looks like an orchid. I'm sad, poor Tonks. But lovely indeed, her wand is. Next is this one, Sirius Black. Fantastic wand. And it's, it's like split in fours. So it's, again, it's very different to any of the ones. It's more like a square, if you can sort of see that. Gellert Grindelwald's wand. I did already have the other Elder one, but that's broken, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but this is now my newly restored and new Elder wand, as per when Grindelwald owned it. Next is this grey wand, which is Xenophilus Lovegood. And it's really quirky, and I didn't really have this wand yet, so I thought, hey, let's get this one, because I do like the Lovegoods. This wand is actually from Ollivander's in Universal. I think I have to go and ask them what wand I would have according to my birthday. And it was this wand, which I believe now from the helpful comments of everyone, that is a combination of George and Fleur de Coeur's wand. Next is this blue one. It was Dumbledore's wand. I know it is the Elder wand. It's not listed anywhere as the Elder one. It's listed as either Dumbledore's or Grindelwald's wand. So they're looking for the Elder one, they're not gonna find it. So I'm trying, I was trying to be helpful, but of course I know it is the Elder wand. If, if you can see that the metal cores come through where I dropped it and I was like, oh no, my poor elder one. Next one, again, this kind of khaki colour box. We've got so many of them. And this was Cho Chang's one. And it's got these kind of buttons on it. And I said in the other one that it was like a flute. I'll spare everyone with my musical abilities, which there are none. Next is this purple one. And this is Grigorovich's one. It does go into a very straight point first, but then this knobbly kind of twig like handle that has there's runes on the side. And then the final of my boxed ones, Professor McGonagall's wand. It's got a cool resin end, a very strict dainty one, which we do see her using in the Crimes of Grindelwald. Very long, very hard, very strict. You think of very strict one, do what you say. <laughs> That's it for this week's video. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all my Harry Potter ones. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below which ones you have, which one of my ones are your favourite, which ones do you think about guessing because I can advise you as well because I love ones. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe for more of the same Wizarding World content. You can do that by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. 
and then you can check out some of my other Wizarding World videos. And as some of you know by now, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.